wants you to pretty much do it <laughs> to get credit. Uh, he gets the experience of actually holding the tool, though. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, well, what are you I doing? With some, with some school groups, I'll be uh, helping out when we're splitting logs, things like that. Some kids are so uh, small they can't. Peter, what is that? A shaving horse. That's right. So we're on the 1700s American farm, tobacco farm. Joseph, that's a neat little stool. Hop up, let me see. Yeah, look at that. That's, that'd be an easy one to build, wouldn't it? Yeah, kind of like the shaving horse. Are you shaving, Peter? Yeah. Is that your draw knife? Yeah, so I got all my, I got all my tools are in that chest right. So here is his chest. Now, are these your own tools? Uh, no, those are all museum. So okay. we we get them from. Uh, Blacksmith makes half of them, and then other ones were found in local areas where we'll find a historic tool, yeah. we'll buy it, we'll bring Here it. Here we go, what are you doing? So, ah! we've got some <laughs> hatchets, okay. made here locally. Hello? Yeah, the reason the hole's there is because we actually have a kid punched through the wall. Got a pro. Yeah. We had a school group, the kid was sitting there, all of a sudden I see a hand go, That's some neat stuff. <laughs> So this is the parent's bed, no kidding. Yes, we'll be making a mattress to put on it. So wow. There will be something on top of it. And kids sleep down here on the dirt floor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sleep on the dirt floor, Joseph? No. <laughs> yeah. You never had to rough it like that, huh? Just That's like, well, your parents will be doing the really hard work because they got the heavy tools to use. You'll get to sleep on the floor. <laughs> so can you tell me about your shaving horse that you're building here? you got your dumb head. Yes, and it's, it's close to being done. Uh, Used the T-handle auger that we saw in the chest over there. Drilled through both of these, this and the bottom. And now I just need to shave this down to where it's thin enough to fit through. Okay. Uh, we used a, a saw, sawed into that point, drove wedges in from the side, which popped off those pieces, and this is what we've got and didn't do now. Great. Right. So, I mean, it's the same way that we made all the stools and everything here, just popped a log in half. You hammer it in, see if I can get it with this... got it in there you can twist it and pop off the piece and that's what they would be doing so so then you go like a yeah. half inch away and you get like a slim piece yeah for that and once I've got this this is how we were doing it uh, we have something called a break uh, we took ours down because it was not quite historically correct and now we have that split tree over there but using the Y there you'll fit the piece like this it'll lock against the other side you'll put weight on this side holds it there and you hammer in the you hammer the fro in like this. So you hammer it in at whatever width you want. Yeah. And judging from those ones, you can do about this width here. But you hammer it in. And then you pop it off and you have shingle. Like that.